Kings Pokemon Empire. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, King, aka the Emperor, chilling in the Poke Castle. Welcome back to the Pokemon Empire, King's Pokemon Empire. Um, how did you guys like that part one? Did you see part one? Uh, part one of the booster box, we opened. 18 packs and we also opened a merlin sticker um nothing too exciting out of the merlin stickers to be totally honest um we didn't get any hollows but you know we're we're not all about the hollows uh hollows are just extra little sweetness that you get out of those packs um so chilling rain booster box part two hype 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 we've got six out of an average of 12 hits is uh, the best I could gather from the community. Um, <clears throat> let me get my little stand out here. That way I can actually do this correctly. We get the Blaze again. We get the Metagross Full Art. And then we grab a couple Vs out of the box. So going by the average of 12 hits on average. Uh, halfway through. We're halfway through. Can't complain. Can't complain. Uh, we are on the road to 500 subscribers. And on that road to 500 subscribers, we're going to have a couple little pit stops. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, 300, 400. Um, at the time of recording, we're right, sitting around 280. Um, so that means that 300 is creeping up on us. If you've been here before, then you already know what this is. This is a Shadowless Ivysaur that is going to go out to one of you lucky, awesome subscribers. Just for being subbed. I was looking it up on TCG Player last night. That At the time of recording, that's like an $11 card. Now, that's obviously a near mint condition. Um, and I, I am being 100% up front. There is some stuff on this card. It's not, I mean, it's not at all by any means, you know, like destroyed or anything. It's just normal wear and tear for a card that, card that came out way back when you know what i mean i mean this is shadowless so this is old this is older than some of the people that are even watching this video that card is older than you it might be older than your oldest sibling like think about that for a second that's freaking nuts um now with that 300 sub goal mentioned i would like to do the same thing this week that i did last week and i would like to take this time to shout out a few of the channels that i know that I like to watch, that I like their content, um, that are either my size or smaller, or, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter how many subs you will have, if, if I like you, like Pokemon 10 LV, homeboy just hit 1k, if you're not subbed to Pokemon 10 LV, bro, go check him out, he is awesome, dude does all kinds of different stuff, he raps, he, he does Pokemon cards, he does ripping ships, he does pack openings in his car, he's got the open mouth thumbnails, bro, like, you know that's legit, <laughs> Love you, Tim. Uh, with that being said, though, your boy Irish Pokey Hat. He's a huge supporter of your boy 10LV. Uh, on the day of recording, I'm recording this a couple days early just because uh, I have some other things going on. Um, but yeah, bro, he made homeboys day to day with the channel memberships. That ish was crazy. Irish Pokey Hat, you are a madman. Irish Pokey Hat is a youtube channel that is based out of i believe you said you live in northern ireland uh, I'm, uh, I just, he's from ireland and he does live streams where he opens up mail because he's always in everybody's streams buying packs gifting memberships joining members he is an awesome pokey person an awesome pokey peep somebody in the fam that we all need to watch out for if you are not subscribed to irish pokey hat please 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 go over there give that man a subscription check out one of his live streams if you see him in there if you see him in a live stream say what's up to him he's very easy to talk to very nice person please 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 also what's muffin cuz treo 69 we all know who treo is he's the muffin man muffin man is an awesome another huge supporter of our australian youtubers 
Um, we both have a weird work schedule where we're up in the AM here in the States. So I see trail a lot whenever I'm work lurking, uh, in Woody stream or even official fish. And he cracks me up every time. Ever since the moment I've met that man, he's just been nothing but nice to me. Um, and we need more people like that in this world and in this community. So I want to shout out Treo69. Um, he is also a, a little bit of a streamer. Um, I'm not... I was watching his stream the other day, and I can't tell you for sure whether he does the rip and ship thing, but I'm sure if he had extra packs and somebody wanted to buy some, you know what I'm saying? Like, if I'm live streaming and I got a booster box sitting on the table and you really want to buy a pack, you could just ask me. I'll probably sell it to you. No big deal. Either Anyway, um, I've seen him open some, uh, some, I believe I've seen him open some Dragon Ball cards with his kids one time, Treo. But yeah, he definitely does the Pokemons. He's always dropping shorts seen a few other random things on his channel like some cooking videos but you know whatever man everybody has got their own personality and everybody has got their own way of doing content the way they think content should be done and i like getting a little bit of uh not necessarily i'm not gonna steal ideas from anybody but you know what i'm saying like i like seeing what everybody else comes up with and then try to be like all right well let's see if i can do something cool like that so shout out treo69 shout out irish pokey hat Please check your subscriptions. If you're not subbed, go sub to those guys. Those guys are awesome. Without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get into some packs because, geez, it is six. Sheesh, it's six minutes into the video and your boy is still talking. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just want to show these, these legends some love, man. Uh, these guys really deserve to be at a much, I think, at a much bigger position than where they're actually at. I don't know if it's a time thing or whatnot, algorithm thing. I know YouTube can be crazy sometimes. So once again, my small platform, the two or three of y'all that are watching, we got my chop. Oh, we got a Firo. We've not seen either one of these stickers yet. We got the Kadabra. It could be a repeat. Oh, we got a hollow Blastoise, bro. What's up? Let's go. All right, we got one of the big three. I guarantee you that that one's got to be worth some money. We got a Zubat. We got an Electrode. He's about to explode, you can see, because of all these things in the background. That means he's going to explode. That's a spider since it's tingling. Not really. I'm just making, making stuff up as I go. But yeah, we got a Hollow Blastoise, dude. That's cool. It's not the Charizard. But it is Blasty Blasty, which, to be totally honest, your boy chose Blastoise anyways. Uh, your boy chose Blastoise when it came down to it. And save the booster box box because I will be using that for. I like to not reseal them. I like to put them back together and uh, yeah, we're gonna mix these up even though we've already mixed them up before. I like to reseal them and put them on display. Like I said, with the ETBs, I have them all on display even though they're uh, that's weird, even though they're all uh open all right let's see are we going to get our chase card which once again our chase card in this set is going to be that beautiful articuno v beautiful card that's what we really really want to see fire it's electric not starting off on the right foot we are starting off on the wrong foot with the crushing gloves hey you're gonna crush some ice with them boys i'm excited for the next video lineup in this tuesday series we will be letting you guys know here after these packs what the next two contestants of etb battles will be we have two more ETBs chilling in the castle. Um, and you guys get to pick which one I'm going to open. If you were around for the last round, fire. Again, we got no energy. I don't know why I guess fire twice in a row. Anyways, if you were around for the last ETB battle, then you know that the darkness of Blaze has survived. And that the vivid voltage won that round and was voted out to be opened. Ooh, reverse of the quillfish. 
And we got a single strike Urshifu hollow. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that the Tauros was a hollow. So we're probably going to get a bunch of hollows. I say a bunch. Probably at least four hollows. Maybe more um, from this side of the box. Just because last opening, we only got one. This is the third black code card in a row. Let's hope it's something besides. Let's go steal. It's wider. Shout out Ski Master Slump God. I think that's the one that does that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one that does that. Ooh, why do you? Ooh, why do you? It cracks me up, bro. <laughs> uh. Anyways, yeah, let's see. Let's hope we can get something good. And we got another hollow. We're getting hollow city in the house. Hollow city in the house. We did not pull a quote unquote SR, which. There's no trainer gallery in this set, but there is the 35 secret rares. So I would assume that this is probably still in the spot where you're kind of guaranteed, and another black code card, you're kind of guaranteed some sort of uh, SR, or whatever you'd call it. Yeah, secret rare. Let's go Leaf. It's Steel. I don't know. We'll see. This Drizzile, I heard, is pretty competitive, so we might set him out to the side and see what his price is on TCG Player. I've been waiting to run across one of those from this set because I remember Mr. Danny Phantom. Shout out Danny Phantom if you need some uh, some dollar bill information. We get the fur fro. He said something about, oh, we got the Gengar Hollow. Bet. Bet. We pulled the reverse last episode and we pulled this one this episode. I love your boy Gengar as a top five for sure. Um, but yeah, no, he's always got, Dan Tom's always doing videos on singles and uh, cards to pull out of your bulk and prices on sealed product. So if, you know, if you don't know who Danny Phantom is, go sub the Danny Phantom. Uh, let's go fire. We haven't got fire yet. Electric again. I'm looking at all the energies we've pulled. This is the second electric. We got the old cemetery. Ghastly did not come out of the cemetery this round like he did last time. You get your boy Farfetch. Shout out. First shiny and uh, shield was surfetched. Didn't even know it was shiny for like three months. We got a Galarian mask. Behind it, we got a non hollow Obama Snow. Our first non hollow of this opening, which is fine. We got quite a few non hollows last round. So I'm hoping that we don't see very many of those at all. I mean,. So far, so good. Another black code card. We're going to go Psychic. Oh, got him. I looked down to see what hadn't been picked yet. This old cemetery comes up a lot. Snowy form, cast form, your little ghastly, your cub foo, the hatina, little crybaby sobble. All right, we got some peaky peaky back here. <clears throat> oh wow oh, haha, what's up with the metagross full art and now we get the metagross v-max where are my sleeves those aren't the right ones they're right here oh, I thought they were right here huh oh there they are I find them I find them Sorry, I was, I wasn't prepared. I didn't have my sleeves out. Um, I will put them in a, in a uh, card saver, but not right now. I do collect uh, VMAX cards, so I have quite a few of them. Um, not enough to put in a binder or anything, but I do have quite a few of them. I'm kind of fond of them, they're kind of cool looking. I mean, to be totally honest, I thought, uh, let's go dark. I thought the whole VMAX thing to begin with was just super dumb. Just in my opinion. Um, but yeah, for whatever reason, I really like the cards. And I do like the Dynamax versions, like, or the Gigantamax versions, I mean, where, where the Pokemon actually changes form. Or changes its appearance when it, when it gets bigger. That part is cool. Let's see what's the rare in this one going to be. Uh, v card, a Celebi. We got the onion. 
the onion. The little bitty onion. Celebi is not a top 10. <coughs> Maybe top 10 shiny. But he's definitely not top 10, but he's probably top 20. She, he. We're going to go fire. We still haven't got one fire energy. Ooh, got him again. Double crown, baby. We got the foggy crystal. We got Paonia. A Whirlipede. The Yamask. Snorrent. Grookey, which I don't know if I said something about it last episode, but his this artwork is just super cute. You learn how to draw him. Growing some trees by doing it. You got your little Uber boy. The Diglets are running from something, maybe? Yeah, this one right here looks like he kind of like ran into the rock. His eyes all bulged up. We got a Celio. And, hey, and it evolved. Into a non-hollow. Our second non-hollow of this pack opening. Um, I don't think this box is being too bad to us. Not too bad. Let's go electric. We've had a lot of electric. Oh, psychic. I didn't even think about psychic that time. The rugged helmet. Shout out Pokemon Unite. Oh no, it's the Rocky Helmet Unite. Never mind. Caitlin. Coffin. Shup it. Stupid squirrel. Stupid mole. Stupid cream ball? Cream puff? Cotton candy Pokemon. Okay, so he's cotton candy. So the food, even the food is alive in Pokemon. So what are you supposed to eat? Wouldn't you like super offend somebody who's like a Swirlix fanat? I don't know. I'm diving way too much into this. This is children's cardboard, people. Uh, really cool looking Kakuna, to be totally honest. I really, really dig that artwork. Behind it is the Galarian Rundrigus. That is hollow. And that is a sick looking hollow. Not gonna lie. I like that. I'm gonna scoot over non hollows. We've got one, two, three, four, five hollows, a V, and a V Max. So I think we are due for some sort of full art or even a rainbow. What's an energy that we haven't seen yet? Fighting. We haven't seen fighting. Water. Why do you... The Justified Gloves. The Weeding Gloves. There should be another pair of gloves, people. Bound Sweep. A little Global Warming. A little Aaron. Is he eating metal? Hey, man. That's Meltan's gimmick, bro. Get your own thing, even though you were created and drawn probably two years before Meltan. Get your own thing. The Zebstrika, which is a rare. Nice. Oh. Okay. Uh, we have gold. Now, the secret rare. Let's pray. Okay. 229. This is 224. So this is totally a card that we do not have. That we do not have. That we do not have. So, with that being said, I just want you to look at something real quick. <laughs> so, I bought this uh, Charizard, shiny Charizard VMAX off of somebody here in town. <coughs> this was a while ago. Uh, homeboy, if you're watching this, once again, I, I told you the details. So, I'm going to just go ahead and be public with it. It's not a big deal. I was sketched out about the card because I legitimately thought it was fake. I told the dude to his face that I was sussed out about it. When I actually wound up meeting up with him again later on the next morning uh, and buying the card from him, um, you know, I apologized or whatever. But yeah, so my concern was, as I saw an eBay post, I'll, I'll try and post it on the screen if I can find it. But uh, they sell these stickers, man. Like, and these stickers like legit look like Pokemon cards. Like my little uh, lockbox that I have, my, uh, what you call it? Um, all my sealed cards, all my top loaded cards and stuff in i've got this the pikachu uh painting one i don't remember what the painting's called but you all know what it is bob's favorite card the mimic you one the one that's super expensive he'll never buy or whatever 
Well, he sent me, uh, I had bought some stickers because I was curious. They had the shiny VMAX one on there, bro. And the sticker on eBay looked legit. So I was super sketched out about it. So I bought one just for, you know, shits and grins. So he sent me that Pikachu one that's on there. But so, I mean, that looks legit, right? Like, so if you put that, this is a sticker. So if you put that on top of like an energy and you trimmed it up or whatever, like so you might be able to pass that off to like somebody unwillingly. Like I don't know if all the details are correct because I don't have that card. Now when I flip it around, you're gonna be able to tell how fake this sticker is. I mean, it's not even close, bro. It's not even close. Like I was so sketched out because I thought this kid bought a sticker and put a sticker on top of an energy because at that point in time, I hadn't seen anybody open any Charizards from reprints. And I've been avid that they don't, they, you know, saying that I feel like they don't reprint these chase cards. And I've seen people pull the Moonbryons. I've seen people pull this Charizard. <laughs> yeah, but hey, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, I know I explained myself to you. Uh, it was just the way the side of the card looked. All right, so back to the gold card. Back to this gold card. Um, I don't think it's Snorlax because I feel like we could see Snorlax's belly, but we're just going to go ahead and pull it. Let's hope it's Snorlax because he's number three in the set. Oh, bro, bro, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, snap. Snorlax. He's such a cutie. Isn't he shiny too? Yeah, he's shiny. OMG. Look at him. He's such a cute little boy. He's not a cute little boy. He's a cute big boy. <laughs> Just play. Bro, we pulled the Snorlax. This is like a $70 card, bro. What? This is definitely being kept and going into my personal collection. Snorlax is a Gen 1 bestie for sure. He's slowly been moved down the rank, but he's definitely in the top 15 or top 20 as far as favorite Pokemon of all time just because, you know, the first time you encounter this Pokemon, man, you gotta play a flute because it's freaking blocking the road, bro. Like, what? What? We just pulled a Snorlax. Bro, I can't believe that that was the Snorlax, bro. Fire. Fire emojis in the chat if you're still here. And you see me pull the Snorlax. Ice cube emojis if you're here in the chat and you still need this Snorlax. And Chilling Rain has been nothing but ice cold. Because I know this set has treated me ice cold, man. Beautiful. I set it right there in all of his glory. That way you don't even have to stare at the packs no more. You can just stare at little Snorlax. Bro, let's go. That's fire. How many packs we got left? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. Let's do this, bro. All right. Y'all wish me luck. Let's see if we can get another another banger out of here watch we pull a freaking galarian moltres alt two bro and then a blaziken like just get all three cards at once let's go leaf oh we got three in one video what this is unheard of leonhart eat your heart out i'm just playing bud don't do that that would probably hurt and then you wouldn't be able to make videos and i like some of your videos some of your videos are pretty good. I like when you go and hide stuff around town because I live close enough to you that I could possibly find it. <laughs> Except that I feel like it's probably like the janitor watching you put the stuff on the ground. He's like, oh, oh, si, senor, you're dropping trash. Let me pick it up and throw it away. So, like, you know, I don't know. I don't know how that works. I'm going to have to add you on Twitter or something and DM you. Like, yo, I'm just playing. I'm not going to bother you dark it's steel now but one of these days though i am going to go on one of those pack hunts when he does that and when we find something we're bringing it back to the cat uh back to the back to the empire back here at the pokey castle and we will open that up for you guys and if we find more than one and we get something that we already have then we're going to use that as a giveaway because i have cards i have vintage hollows i don't have a bunch but i have some I've got some that's the cool looking little uh, ge uh, gecko. He's a chameleon. Um, yeah, no, I have some of that stuff, man. If I got something that I, that I already have one of, 
then yeah, that's going back to one of you guys. Whether it's a content creator that wins it or it's just, you know, just one of the pokey peeps, man. I want to give anything and everything back to as many people as I can. Let's go f electric. Oh, you heard me with the F. I even looked at it. I looked at it right here. Oh, you can't see up there. There's there, is there one? There's not one in y'all's area. There's one right there. It's okay. We're going to take this off anyways and redo that again because, yes, over 9,000 logos. But I think I've finally settled on something that I like. I might add to it and maybe retake the, the back picture. I probably won't redo the back picture just because uh, it's kind of a pain in the butt. The first one I had that I had everything set up up here, uh, it got erased out of my phone before I could go back in and re-edit it. And if you have an iPhone, you know, your stuff stays in the recently deleted for so long. And then it's gone. And it was just gone. So, not hollow. But, uh, yeah. So, the, the new channel banner. Digging it. Digging the profile picture. Um, put Berserker on there. Because Berserker, man, that, uh, that alt art card... And Lost Origin that's coming up in the Lost Abyss right now. That card is so cute. I want it. We're going to go... Water. Hey, it's dark for the first time, finally. Shout out some dark vibes. Some dark energy vibes. Some dark empire vibes. Snova. Ghastly looks like he's just having so much fun. Coughing, looking like he's having so much fun. He's just hanging out at the dump. Look at him. He's just chilling at the dump. Where's the trubbish at? Where's the little trubbish at? Love me some trubbish. We got a Galarian Slow King Reverse. It's the first time we've seen this boy in this box. And we got the Saul's Book. Non hollow. The Saul's Book. That's one of them Pokemon, yep, that comes from Deerling. So. I wonder which form that is. Calls all his book, the Harbingers of Spring. He falls from Deerling. It just says season Pokemon. So I only have like one or two of the evolutions in Pokemon Go, which is really the only reason I even know about that Pokemon. Um, I'm sure I've explained it before, but I missed probably like eight years of Pokemon content just because of being 20 and partying and stuff like that. Leaf. Fire, fire, fire. But yeah, um, so I don't know which season that is. Maybe because it says the spring thing, it's the spring one. I don't know. There is winter in the background. We are also opening Chilling Rain that is part of the Crown Tundra. So I'm just going to go ahead and assume that it's the winter version. Bone Sweet, a Zebstrika again. We have three packs left and we've not seen any any sort of hit the the it just dried up right after that snorlax that snorlax ate all the other hits i mean look at him now he does look like he's got a nice full little belly doesn't he he's so cute it's okay man i mean with him the hits in this box paid for the box because like i said i paid about 89 dollars before tax uh electric you wider wider so I am not going to complain about Chilling Rain. This has been a good box. This has been one of the better booster boxes that I've opened. Um, I know it's only the second one. Coffin! That I've opened on the channel. But we are going to be getting more. And be doing more. Of the booster boxes. Go Lurk. And we got an Ampharos. Non-Hollow. I think we're just going to get non-Hollow for the rest of the box. Sorry guys. I'll see you next week, if, unless you want to watch me open another non-hollow. Um, but yeah, uh, I will be going to my LGS tomorrow to look and see if he has Evolving Skies booster boxes for, well, I mean, I say for a decent price. I don't care what the price is, really. Uh, fighting? Leaf. Every time I've gone in there previously, he hasn't had any. And then last time I went in there, when I literally had no money. Uh, why am I putting them all over there? 
had no money to my name. Uh, he had a whole case, and he's like, here, you want one? And I was like, yeah, I do, but I don't have any money. So I'm hoping that he had, still has some, that he didn't already sell out. That was like two weeks ago, so he probably is read up by now, but you never know. Ghastly Reverse. Sweet, now we have the whole, uh, the whole evolution line. We got the Glade. All right, let's get some last pack magic. Let's get some last pack magic. I want to see that Articuno. At least one of them. Can we get a hit? Oh, last pack magic is going to have a hit. Going to have a hit. Here's a code. Tell me what you get. We're going to go fighting dark. Sending out them dark vibes. All right. We get the path to the peak. We got the Dynatree Hill. We've got the Justified Gloves. We've got a Galarian Slowpoke. He's also fishing for an evolution. Just like the one from Poco. We got a Weedle working out, trying to become big and strong like his buddy Heracross down there. Who possibly could be doing crunches or sit-ups also. But it also kind of looks like he's just chilling with his hands up. Like, behind his head. You got Clobopus. You got the Ralts. We got a rainy form, cast form. We got the reverse of the path to the peak. And we got a hollow beedrill to finish off this box. Um, that's freaking cool art too, honestly. I don't think I've seen the beedrill yet. The beedrill yet. So, I mean, overall, for this part of the box, I told y'all guys that I had a feeling we were going to get a bunch of hollows. We got two, four, six hollows. We got the... Galarian Rune Regis. We got the Beedrill, the Gengar, the Gardevoir, the Tauros, and the Single Strike Urshifu. And then we got the Celebi V, as well as a Metagross V Max to go with our full art Metagross that we got last episode. And we got your boy, the Gold Snorlax, which is just beautiful. I can't believe we pulled the freaking Snorlax, bro. Let's go, dude. Pat yourselves on the back if you were here to see that. Uh, everybody else is going to have to see it in a short because they don't pay attention. I'm just playing. <laughs> um, so, real quick, if you guys would like to vote in the comments on what we are going to open next week, I have two choices for you to pick from. We will be doing an ETB battle. Our first contestant returning, Darkness Ablaze. Our new contestant, brand new to the castle, just arrived yesterday, went to Sam's and bought it. $35 at Sam's. They have three different ETBs with, uh, where those cards go? They're right here. Come with these cards. couple rares six rares all reverse that one's super cool i hadn't seen that one before i've seen all the other ones except for yeah no i've seen all of them except for that one uh but yeah 35.99 at sam's comes with the six reverse hollows and an etb we have joining us in the castle for the very first time boom an etb a fusion strike now last time it was Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze, and I had not opened the Darkness Ablaze. I had opened Vivid Voltage before. Obviously, none of this has been opened on YouTube because this was all pre-YouTube. So, with that being said, even with pre-YouTube being a factor here, in my open collection of ETBs, both of these guys are missing, right? So, there is no bias here. I haven't opened either one of these boxes. I want to open them both. But we can't do that in one video. That wouldn't be fair. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to vote down in the comments. Not in the live chat. Just vote in the comments. Simple. Darkness Blaze. Fusion Strike. You can even just put DA or FS. It doesn't matter to me. You could put Eternatus. You could put Mew. You could put Purple. You could put Red. I don't care. Just if y'all would please vote. It makes it easier for me because then I don't have to choose. 
um, I really appreciate everybody coming to the live streams, to the live streams, to the premieres, to the impromptu live streams when they do happen. Um, I appreciate everybody for definitely going and subbing to Irish Pokey Hat and Treo69. What's Muffin? It's just Treo69. What Muffin is this thing? I was just... Anyways, uh, yes. Please, 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 please go support these guys. They're supporting everybody. Please vote in the comments down below which video, which ETB you'd like to see us open in our next video. Please hit that smash. <laughs> Please smash that like if you are still here or if you've made it this far and liked the video. And if you're new, please smash that subscribe button. That way you'll see some more of our videos, man. We open up Pokemon every Tuesday. We do TCG Fridays where we open non-Pokemon product. This Friday, I've got some more booster packs of UFO MetaZoo coming. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, we also have random impromptu pokemon videos coming out at different times um tomorrow will be a short we're getting close to pack 20 on our charizard hunt once we hit pack 20 i mean after pack 20 we have a booster box to open so you know what i'm saying i don't know if we're gonna do that on a regular pokemon opening or if we're gonna do that on a, on you know like an off day You'll just have to stay tuned. Make sure you have that bell on. That way you know when my videos pop up. Uh, obviously, you know, y'all do what you want. If you like the channel, I appreciate the support. If you don't, that's cool too. We're all entitled to our own opinions, right? Right. All right. Well, everybody, you have a good evening. I appreciate everybody. Y'all have a good night. Peace. Kings Pokemon Empire.